Hello everyone, I'm back with a new episode of Explore and Engage with Anand. Reportedly, the mayors of five big cities in the United States want to meet with President Joe Biden to discuss how to manage the surge of migrants. If you have been listening to my podcast, then you know that I talk a lot about the border crisis and the migrant crisis and immigration in general. I talk about uh, legal immigration and also illegal immigration. So if you have not listened to my podcast before, please go check out my previous episodes in which I have discussed lots and lots of issues pertaining to um, the southern border and, you know, the migrant crisis. My friends, can you guess which five cities I'm talking about? I just mentioned that the mayors of five big American cities want to meet with President Joe Biden to, to discuss the migrant crisis. Who are these mayors? What are the five big cities? Can you make a guess? Well, uh, the first two are cities that I, dis, uh, that I talk about quite frequently in my podcast. New York City and Chicago. Both are sanctuary cities. I, th I think you already know that. What are the other three cities? Well, number three, how can you forget Los Angeles? Remember, California is a sanctuary state. Los Angeles. Now, there are two more. Denver and Houston. So the mayors of New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, Denver, and Houston, these five mayors want to meet with President Joe Biden to discuss how to manage the surge of migrants. Now, I have got a solution. Secure the border. Secure the border, secure the southern border, and stop the flow of illegal immigrants. Stop the entry, the illegal entry of foreign nationals into the United States. Secure the southern border. There's really no way to manage what cannot be managed. As long as the border is open and people are pouring into the country without documentation, without visa, they are just crossing the border and entering the United States. As long as the border is open and people are coming in, that problem cannot be managed. The first step should be to secure the border and stop this massive inflow of illegal immigrants. Now, he, he, here's a number that's going to shock you. It is a shocking number. Can you tell me how many people have crossed the border to enter the United States since the Biden administration came to power? Can you make a guess? Six million people, around six million. Around six million. That's the estimate. That's how many people, estimated, have crossed into the United States by crossing the southern border since President Joe Biden came to power. So the mayors of five big American cities want to address the issue of the surge of migrants. Well, then their first ask must be when they meet with President Joe Biden, if the meeting is going to take place, uh, if the meeting takes place and uh, the mayors get to talk to Joe Biden about this issue, I think their first demand should be to secure the border. But let's not forget that some of these mayors, as I mentioned, are mayors from sanctuary cities. Mayor Brandon Johnson of Chicago. Chicago is a sanctuary city, so he's a sanctuary city mayor. Mayor Eric Adams of New York City, also a sanctuary city mayor and Los Angeles. What can I say about Los Angeles? The entire state of California is a sanctuary state. So liberals have embraced this sanctuary city designation. And as a result, migrants came to the United States. They went to Chicago. They went to New York City. They went to California. 
and they went to many other places, but these liberal sanctuary cities are seeing a tremendous surge in the number of migrants who are arriving, uh, looking for housing, looking for um, other services. But these sanctuary cities, th these city le leaders now realize, they now realize how big of a problem they are facing and they are worried because the city has run out of space for housing the migrants and taxpayers. Taxpayers are not happy to see how public funds are being spent to house migrants. And now the crisis is getting even more intense because winter is coming soon. There is no room to house the migrants who are already there in the sanctuary cities and because of the open border, there are more people coming in. There are more people coming in. Reportedly, on Monday, a large migrant caravan started from southern Mexico, and that caravan is heading towards the United States. Now, can you guess how many people there are in that migrant caravan? Well, I'm just looking at the numbers that were reported, and some say that there are 3,500 people. Once again, it's an estimate. And some say it's 5,000. So 3,500 roughly or 5,000. Let's just say thousands of people. There are thousands of people in that caravan. Thousands of foreign nationals who are heading towards the United States and they are looking to enter our country through the southern border. Here in the U.S., people are very worried. There are millions, as I mentioned, who have already crossed the southern border to enter our country illegally. Approximately six million since the Biden administration came to power. That's the number. Approximately six million foreign nationals have already entered our country. And on top of that, there are more coming as you can tell from the reports of this migrant caravan. My friends, our country is facing tremendous challenges. There are problems everywhere. There's the border crisis that I just talked about. Inflation is still causing pain and suffering. And when you look at the, the picture of the entire world, you can see there are regional conflicts in so many different parts of the world. There are conflicts. And then COVID-19 pandemic globally caused severe damage. And people are worried about their economic future. Americans are worried about their economic future. And there are many other countries around the world where people are suffering because of economic issues. And they are also worried about their, their future. What's going to happen? That's the question. Share with me your thoughts, my friends. Thank you once again for continuing to listen to my podcast, and I hope to be back again soon with a new episode of Explore and Engage with Anam.